Hi, I'm PJ Tezza. I'm CEO of ModVans. We're an RV manufacturer based in Oxnard, California. We build three models of RVs on the low, medium, and high roof transit. And uh, we're getting ready to show you our latest model, which we're really excited about. It's the MH1X. It's our flagship build. It has the largest battery ever put in an RV. It's 2,000 amp hours, uh, 26 kilowatt hours, all electronic controls, DC, heating, and cooling. So we're excited to show it to you, and uh, we'll get right to it. So we're gonna start by showing you some of the unique features of this MH1X build. This floor right here is actually a one inch layer of battery. Again, this is the secret to having the biggest battery available in any RV. If we were to build it as a, a normal RV battery and battery cases, dedicated battery cases, it would actually take over the whole RV. In this case, being a one inch layer of the floor, it actually takes almost no space inside the RV. We just make the cabinets about one inch shorter. Um, back here, you can also see our garage. The MH1 uh, is designed through our hands-on use of this vehicle over three years of R&D. Um, and we just discovered that we loved having a big garage where we could just throw our backpacks in. We have this outside shower, uh, it, just a great garage area. It's lighted. So, you know, when we're coming in campsite in the middle of the night, we can comb through all our stuff and find exactly what we need to get set up. Also back here, you can see our class leading fresh water carrying capacity. This is a 26 gallon water tank. It can actually come in and out. It's modular. Uh, if you take it out, you could use this space for bicycles. I think 29 inch mountain bikes can fit in there. Um, over here in the back, you can actually see our, tw our standard 25 gallon water tank. These two tanks combined give us 51 gallons of fresh water holding capacity. We'll get back in and show you all this stuff, but this is our uh, custom designed mattress. It's made of three different layers of foam. It has memory foam on top, a medium density foam in the middle, and a harder density foam in the bottom. It gives you a very comfortable bed. Our customers generally report that this bed is as comfortable and more comfortable than their mattresses at home. This is a true queen size mattress. Um, we do that by having this unique bump out in the side of the wall, which I'll show you in just a minute. Also back here, we'll show you our first look at the soft-sided overhead storage. Um, we tried wood and metal cabinets before, and we were really unhappy with them. They're overly heavy. They're hard to take in and out and the actual structure of the cabinet itself takes away a lot of the storage space. These soft-sided cabinets are great. They're very simple. They just have zippers. They roll up with Velcro. Lots of room for your gear because they're the sides of the, the, the soft-sided storage are very thin. And they have all these cool pockets on the sides and the bottom, bungee straps. Uh, I put my phone over my head overnight. There's overhead charging, so I have my phone right there overhead in the pocket. We have the outdoor shower here. It's really nice. We've got the pan to, to stand on. But this model actually features our uh, innovative pop-up semi-dry bathroom with an inside shower, which we're going to show you in just a minute. Over here, we have our innovative bump out. This gives us the full queen size bed. So the bed sticks out into here. And up front, it actually gives you a, a very deep countertop in the kitchen cabinet. Um, we mount the full size windows here. So we have just this awesome, very big panoramic opening window. Great, it doesn't make a lot of wind noise. It, you know, it doesn't leak. But overall, this has just been a huge win in having that queen, true queen size bed inside the van for kind of the ultimate luxury in a Class B RV. Over here also, you can see uh, our shore power inlet. This is a 30 amp kind of standard inlet. Uh, the battery can charge off of that. Of course, you can run your uh, 120 volt appliances by plugging in there. Uh, we also have, um, this, this van features dual air compressors and it has an outlet on both sides of the van. So if you deflate your tire for off-roading, uh, you can inflate your tires uh, with this dual compressor setup. It pumps up the tires about four times as fast as with a standard compressor. Over here, we have our ladder tire combo. Um, we have these rungs over here that are built into the ladder that are bigger than the pegs that you're going to see on you know other ladder tire combos that we've seen. So um, we, we designed this in-house and we make it in-house and we built it just specifically so we could kind of get this better ladder experience. Over here on the passenger side, this is our in-house design and manufactured cargo box, uh, rear door carrier cargo box. It's mounted on the hinges of the door so it swings in and out when you open the doors. Uh, this is one of the biggest boxes we've seen. So uh, it has tons of storage inside. It does lock. I usually put things that are kind of dusty or dirty. I'll put my uh, chairs in here, my hose that always has drips a little bit, and my, and my dusty sh uh, hiking shoes. We designed these uh, to be really maximize the space available on the transit. So as you can see, they go all the way over the actual handle. They have this cutout here so you can reach in and actually operate the door pretty easily. And then on the right side, they're designed so that they 
just allow the light to shine through. So we designed them just, you know, exactly for the transit. We always relocate the license plate on the back. And for customers who want a little shorter box that doesn't block the rear window, we offer uh, a shorter version of the same box. On our X series, we're offering this external outlet. This can run 20 amp appliances. You can see right now I have my Starlink and my TV plugged into it. Um, it's also designed to be able to plug um, on the X series an electric barbecue grill. Pretty excited about getting that out and giving it a try. Here's our external solar outlet. Again, this is an X series unique feature. Um, with this outlet and our new solar system, we'll have up to 1,000 watts of solar power on the roof and with a separate backpack panel capable of about 400 watts. So this is our show poster that we put out for the MH1 at all the shows. This gives us a competitive stance with other vehicles that are out there in market. As you can see, our standard MH1, um, we feel like it's very priced and competitive with the Solus, the, the Mac Daddy Solus from Winnebago. Um, also, if you kind of go down the features, you'll see on every category, we pretty much have a win. Over here, we compete with a more expensive vehicle. Also from Winnebago, we have the Revel. Um, just the same thing, we feel like we're very price competitive. Um, you know, at, at our price and the MSRP, obviously, and then in every category, you can just see we're bigger, uh, we have more capacity, um, and more upgrade options as well. So over here, you can see our RVIA medallion. This is what we get uh, being a certified RVIA manufacturer. This gives our customers access to 20 year financing, RV insurance and RV warranties. Even if you don't need RV financing yourself, if you ever need to sell this because of a change in life circumstances, you'll find that it's much easier to sell because your buyers will be able to also get that 20 year RV financing and they won't have to write a check for the full amount of the conversion. Out here, we're showing you to get up in the pop-up top. We include this ladder, it has a nice hook on the top so it mounts, uh, you know, uh, firmly attaches up there and doesn't slide around. This is also just to show you that uh, we can make several different sizes for the tables and also how light it is. Uh, all our cabinets and tabletops are all using this laminated balsa wood construction. Our conversion is extremely lightweight. Um, the MH1 conversion is probably about 1,200 pounds. And that would compare to 3,700 pounds from a conversion from a, a, another manufacturer that has similar features. So it's less than one third the weight of a, of a, a typical RV conversion. That's gonna save you gas, it's gonna save you brakes, and it's also gonna make the vehicle perform a lot better. Uh, it's, it accelerates better, it brakes better, um, and it gets better gas mileage. One of the unique features of the MH1, or really all Mod Vans models, is this seating area up front. So we really wanted it to be, first of all, safe and comfortable. Having all the seating up front means that parents in the front can talk to their friends or children in the back without you know, having people way in the back of the van that can't communicate. Generally, the front of the vehicle is more comfortable. It's more safe with more airbags surrounding us. And, and, and you know, there's just a lot of advantages to having a whole totally separate seating area up in the front and dedicated sleeping area in the back instead of trying to have seating way in the back of the vehicle. Also in this van, you can see uh, we have our flexible modular seating system. Uh, we have the two cab seats always, and then we have up to five seats that can be installed in the back, and we have this uh, unique floor plate system. You can actually see the plugs, and then this is one of the bolt holes. All the seats bolt to the floor with five bolts. They're pretty easy to take in and out. We have some other videos demonstrating that. Um, all the seats have three-point seat belts, two armrests. They all recline, they all swivel and slide. Um, this swivel slide recline feature just really gives you like a lot of opportunities if you have you know, two six foot four people and a five foot person, the people can slide and everybody has enough uh, knee rest. We get a lot of questions about, you know, how comfortable is it in the second row seats? Basically, you have more leg room available than in any SUV that I know of. So, um, and again, you, you can buy up to seven seats total and you can kind of mix them and match uh, depending on what, you, what you, the needs of your specific uh, journey are with our modular seating system. So here I am demonstrating our modular table system. Um, again, with the table outside, you can see we have a lot of different shapes. Uh, this shape works pretty well if we put um, tables on both of these B pillars. Um, they all go up and down, lots of different distances. Right here, I kind of have a compromise. For typing, I'd probably put a little bit lower, which I can adjust it down about another inch. Uh, for eating, I'd probably bring it up a little bit higher. And um, uh, you know, this is a great work from home environment. 
Um, this chair is actually as comfortable or more comfortable than my office chair. I have the armrest so I can really get my knees in a great typing position. Um, I've actually been trialing this. I have the Starlink uh, antenna that we've been taking into the mountains recently. Uh, you know, for me personally, I, I could do a full uh, eight hour, 10 hour, 14 hour day of work uh, right here in, in this seat and I'm super happy. You know, I got my bathroom, my kitchen and work from home. If you have more than one person that's working from home, of course, we're gonna add in the tables on the other side and we'll have, you know, uh, probably up to four people actually all kind of doing homework and working together. It, 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 it's, you know, having this seating system where it's just really comfortable and you can spend a lot of time here is, is just a game changer as far as we're concerned. Okay, so we're showing you our optional flip up TV. Uh, this is actually a really nice TV. It has good resolution. I don't know how well it's gonna come out from the video. And it has a lot of great angles here. Um, so second row and third row of passengers really get a great view of this TV. It has built-in speakers. Uh, there are ways to tie it into a sound system. Right now, it, I'm running it off an HDMI that comes out of the wall. It's plugged into my laptop. You can run it with a fire stick, which is actually really, works really well with the built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. And then when you're done with it, you know, it folds up out of the way and, uh, and it's mounted. It's not vibrating and making a lot of noise. So the MH1X, like all our X series, is completely computer controlled. We have multiple custom circuit boards running our own firmware. It's all controlled by an app. Uh, the app can run on any Android or iPhone device. Um, we include a tablet. So this is the tablet that we actually include. You can see it's on a, a suction cup mounting system. You can actually take this tablet down and carry it around with you, um, or you can just use the app that's installed on your personal cell phone device. The app connects locally with Bluetooth, so you can connect everything without internet connectivity. Once you step outside the van, um, if you have internet connectivity, uh, you can actually control everything in the van from anywhere in the world with the, with the same app. Um, while we're here in the front, I'll also talk a little bit about the modular features. This is our what we call our third row storage cabinet. Um, there's actually a couple different options here. Uh, we can actually put a refrigerator here. Um, it, and then in that case, it becomes almost the same height as this countertop and a little bit shallower. Um, this is for customers that want pass-through storage into the garage area from inside, uh, often for um, so, so that dogs can hang out in that area in the garage. This can be removed very easily. It's just a few bolts on the floor. When it comes out, of course, you could swap it with that refrigerator cabinet. And also we have two more seats. So this gives us our true uh, seven passenger seating capability with these same type of seats that mount in the third row. Uh, with this cabinet or with the third row seat, you can still kind of squeeze into this kitchen area and uh, and access everything inside the conversion so if you're looking for a vehicle that you could actually have uh, seven seats in and camp at the same time uh, this is kind of the one we have some other ones that have seven seats and camping features but once you put the seven seats in it does kind of block a lot of the functionality of the camping all our conversions have LED lighting in the X series. All the LED lighting is dimmable with an app. Uh, the app can also control all the fans for the furnaces and all the appliances try to make the sleeping experience at night as quiet as possible. This is our kitchen. Uh, we have two different options. We have the all electric kitchen, which is the only option on the X series. Uh, it is available as an upgrade on our standard MH1. And then we also, on our standard MH1, the, the, the normal option, which you've seen in other videos, is gonna be our three burner propane stove and, uh, stove and oven combination. Um, here we see our uh, electric kitchen, nice two burner induction stove. We have a 3000 watt inverter that can actually power both of these uh, burners, about 2800 watts of cooking power total. Um, cooking on an in induction stove is a unique experience. It's actually a great chef experience. Um, we cook a lot. We cook all kinds of things. Um, it does require the correct uh, pots and pans that have the right kind of heat spreaders that's induction compatible. Uh, once you have all that though, you have just perfect uh, adjustment capability, very high output, or you can get it all the way down to a very low simmer, a lot of adjustability in the induction cooktop. Uh, as you can see, this is a gigantic kitchen block. Uh, it's bigger than the kitchen blocks in any of our models and almost any other class B. Um, we call it an L-shaped kitchen. It actually has this here. And it's actually a U-shaped kitchen. Um, it has um, a big uh, Dometic 12-volt refrigerator back here that we really like. Um, a very deep sink, which you can kind of see my fingers going down to the bottom of. It's very big, uh, nice, really beautiful uh, stainless steel finish, soap dispenser, high thing for filling water bottles you know really great sink setup ton of countertop space here of course we have extra countertop space here if you have helpers uh, that want to turn around and chop stuff for you um, this is uh, w one of many coffee making options we made a custom bracket for this uh, nespresso machine it's pretty cool 
Um, having this bump out go here, this is what enables this really deep countertop. Um, having used this for the last year and a half, I've just really come to appreciate having this extra space just to hold things. Um, you know, I have my utensils here, the coffee makers here, it's no big deal. Um, a lot of times if I'm chopping stuff here, I have kind of my supplies or my knives kind of in this background area. So having this extra deep space enabled by this bump out uh, has really been, it, we knew it was gonna be cool, but it's been better than we expected when we did it. This is in our electric kitchen. We have this really cool unit. This is a toaster oven, oven, convection oven, microwave, and air fryer combination. Um, it's actually really big. Um, it's much bigger than a normal uh, RV microwave oven. Uh, it actually has the ability to cook pizzas. It's just got all these crazy features on it. Um, the other night I used the specific uh, sensor heating for reheating pasta. It actually has a uh, reheating system uh, just for pasta. So uh, just really nice unit. It works well with our power system. Um, a lot of people ask about, you know, where all the storage is. This little uh, cubby right here is actually great. I have like a huge set of pots and pans. It's very deep. It goes all the way into the back of the kitchen here. Um, and then we have more deep storage right here. So we have a lot of little cubbies. Um, this one's actually in the X series, mostly occupied by what we call our micro furnace. So there's actually five micro furnaces spread throughout the cabin. Um, they're strategically located. So we have this one here in the kitchen. We have one for the second row seats. We have one for the cab. We actually have a dedicated furnace just for the pop-up top. And uh, that, that's uh, part of the, the X series, all 12 volt low voltage DC heating. It's very efficient. Uh, it's designed to be able to run for hours and hours and hours, days, weeks at a time, uh, without having to deal with diesel. Uh, they get clogged, have a hard time at altitude. Um, it's just gonna work every time you turn it on. With five furnaces, um, if one of them breaks, you actually have uh, four more to go with. As you can see, they'd be pretty easy to service. The X-Series also has heated floors. So this whole floor that I'm standing on uh, has five heating pads, so it gets nice and warm. And then all the second and third row seats are actually all heated. And of course the cab seats are heated if you have heat in the, in the transit chassis. So this is just another view of our true queen size bed. Again, this is a super comfortable bed because it's queen size, I can use standard bedding on it. So in this case, I have um, a, a standard sheets um, and this blanket, um, we just bought it, uh, I think on Amazon or maybe even Walmart. Pretty nice, I've been using it all this trip. Yeah, we have this splash guard here. This is actually working really well with the deep sink. Um, really haven't had any splashing at all on the bed, which is nice and a really compact camper. This is our pop-up semi-dry bathroom. This is actually uh, in very innovative and patent pending. We figured out a way to satisfy the whole world where half the world feels like a, having a bathroom inside a, a class B RV takes up too much space. And for the other half of the world, it's a must have. This is our solution to that. So when you're not using it, this comes down to this level and it's just another countertop surface. Um, and then when you want to use it, it's electrically actuated. We have a, um, a button on the app that raises it up. It only takes like a few seconds to raise up uh, really fast. And then this height here, this is actually six foot three and a half inches. So it's one of the tallest bathrooms available in any class B RV. Um, we create this latching system so that you actually can open it from inside and outside. And you'll see it's in two halves. The doors are in two halves. It's really easy to operate. Uh, the two halves are what enable it to, to go up and down. So this is, uh, we call it a pop-up semi-dry bathroom. The pop-up is pretty obvious why it pops up and down. Uh, the semi-dry bathroom is because in the right side of the bathroom, the lower right-hand side, there is a toilet that slides in and out on a very heavy duty tray. So basically the idea is when you need to use the toilet, you slide that uh, toilet out um, and it locks. So you use the toilet, when you're done with it, you slide it back in. Uh, it has a door that closes so it doesn't get any splashes. And then when you wanna take your shower, um, you're not in there showering with your toilet. So this is the entrance to what we call our upstairs bed. This is a full XL. Um, the cushions aren't quite as thick. This top need to be really lightweight to maintain our center of gravity requirement from Ford, but it's still super comfortable. I slept up there last night. It's actually awesome. It has a 270 degree uh, window. So you're seeing all around. It has huge screens on both sides for tons of cross flow uh, ventilation. For the MH1, we created this zippered cover here. You can see it zips super easy. And then that way, when you're driving down the road or if you're not using this, it kind of blocks any noise and it's also a little bit insulated to keep uh, heat from escaping up above. This is our ladder that we use to access the pop-up. It's lightweight aluminum, so it's pretty easy to carry around. It collapses pretty easily with these little clips and then we usually store it in the garage. We're super excited about the 
Ford Transit 2022 chassis that we have. Um, this one is loaded with all the great options that Ford's put on 2022. Uh, one of the really fun upgrades is this eight, uh, 12 inch color touch screen. As you can see here, it's running Android Auto. It's actually running it wireless. That's new for 2022. Of course, it will also run uh, Apple CarPlay wirelessly. Um, you can see it's a big, you know, very great uh, bright color touch screen. It has a 360 camera as well for backing up and seeing all around 360. Um, that works great. It's very high resolution. It has adaptive cruise control, lane keeping alert, um, smart windshield wipers, auto dimming headlights, backup assistance. It actually can back up and parallel park by itself. So just as many electronics as you're going to see in almost any luxury vehicle, uh, this 2022 Transit has it all. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, the wheels and tires. Um, so this van has a two inch lift from Van Compass, um, BFG KO2 off-road tires, and then these um, really cool GFX wheels from Vox Wheels. Uh, we also have the power step over there, helping people get in and out with all this extra lift from the tires and stuff. Uh, the Transit's a really capable off-road vehicle. Um, we have some great footage online showing us uh, up on some big rocky trails in the high mountains of Colorado. We've really taken these uh, vehicles off-road uh, and done you know, off-grid camping, tons of stuff. Uh, it's just a great package. The all-wheel drive uh, and EcoBoost combination means that you can point your Transit up just any steepness of hill and just kind of baby it up however you want. Um, you don't have to have a running start on the big hills. Uh, the all-wheel drive system, you put it in mud and ruts mode and it's basically the same thing as a, a true 4x4 system with 50-50 torque split between the front and re rear wheels. We're just really happy with this system and it's pretty cool that it comes straight from Ford. Thanks for checking out the MH1X. Uh, we're super excited to show it to everybody. If you want more information about our vehicle, come check us out, www.modvans.com. If you like what you've seen and you're not ready to buy a camper van right now, you still want to get involved somehow, we actually have an investment campaign. You can find us at wefunder.com forward slash modvans. Uh, you can invest as little as $250 and kind of enjoy the exciting and success that we have. You know, As you can see, we're leading in technology, we're leading in innovation. Uh, we have a, a, a lot of great features and a lot of great technology, and, uh, and you, you can join us by investing. Modvans goes to all the Adventure Van Expo shows this year. Come see us. The uh, next show is Tahoe. We'll be at Big Bear. And if you miss us in 2022, come see us in 2023. We're, we're, we'll be here again. We'll be bringing all three models, including this exciting uh, MH1X model for all you guys to see.